in this example, f of x is x over x minus 2. We're going to find all values of x where the derivative is 0 or when the slope of the tangent line is 0. And part b, determine where the function is increasing and where it is decreasing. Another way we said we're going to find out when the derivative positive, when the derivative negative. This problem, the function is in the rational form. That means we have to consider the exception of the x that we cannot include in a set of real numbers. We can see that the bottom, if x is 2, the function is undefined. So the domain is any real number but 2. In part a, when we find the derivative of phi f prime, we find the derivative with respect to x of x over x minus 2. It is in the quotient form. We're going to apply the quotient rule. We call the top is high, the bottom is low. The derivative is the low d high minus high d low, draw the line, low square. And on the side note, let's break it out into pieces. The high is x, the low is x minus 2, d high is 1, d low is 1. We may put them back together into the quotient uh, rule. So the low is the quantity x minus 2, d high is 1, minus the high, which is the x, multiplied by the d low, which is 1, all divided by the quantity x minus 2 squared simplified to be negative 2 over x minus 2 all squared as the derivative of the function f of x. We're going to find out what x that make the slope to be 0. If the, you let the left-hand side be 0 and then solve for x, in this case, when you cross multiply, it looks like we have 0 equals negative 2, which is not true statement. Therefore, in this case, there is no x where the f prime or the slope equals zero. So we are done part A. Next part, part B, we are going to look at the interval that make the function increasing or decreasing in the f prime is in the form of negative two over x minus two quantity squared. And no x that make the slope to be zero this is the lie represent the derivative. But the domain that we found at the beginning, we make sure we omit the value x equals to. So we have to omit this part. That means it's broken into two interval, two to positive infinity and negative infinity to positive two. From the derivative that we obtain, negative two over negative x minus 2 quantity square, the quantity square always return positive value. Always positive, where the negative 2 always negative. Therefore, the final side going to be negative wherever you pick the x value in the domain. In this case, we can say that the function is decreasing on two intervals, negative infinity two and two to positive infinity.